The final day of the 2019 Australian Championships may have begun under cooler temperatures and cloudy skies, but that didn't prevent the action on the water from heating up. The men's marathon races were the first cab off the rank, and the open men's race was a thriller. Brock McMillan behind Revolution Racing, grabbing the first open class win of his career. Very happy to beat um, Tom and Stump. Been sort of trying to keep up with the boys when I was in the junior classes and now moving up to actually be in their class, it's a big deal. So yeah, pretty happy with that. McMillan staged an awesome battle with Tom Perry, Brendan Tidswell and World F1 champion Ben Gully, eventually coming out on top after retaking the lead on the last lap. Sort of by the finless, I think Stump had a bit of trouble with one of the skis so I caught up to him and then by finless I started sort of catching Tommy and again in the double finless and then by freeboard it was sort of me and Tom neck and neck but coming around the top turn I just got in front and had a bit of an off so Tommy got the lead again and then the next time around on the paling um, Tom had a bit of a stack so I just nipped him at the end and got him for the win. With the marathons done and dusted it was on to the remaining speed national titles and a dominant display by showbiz. First up, Ryan Stanford won the Unlimited Outboard event, then Brendan Tidswell took out the F2 event, for 16-year-old Stanford returned to win the mock class. All three showbiz victories coming with David Tidswell at the wheel. For Stanford, the Unlimited Outboard event came as a surprise. The teenager gaining a late start as a replacement skier. It was meant to be Michael Boylan and um he goes, oh, I've got to go home, so he goes, can you run my race for me? And I said, yeah, no dramas. And Farmer come up and asked me and said, yeah, no dramas. And he came up and got me, quickly had a quick stretch, a couple of waters, some tape, jumped on the deck and off he went. Brendan Tidswell came into the F2 event with an eye over his shoulder. A lot of tough competition out there, a lot of great skiers actually. There's um, a couple there we'll be worried about, young Tom Perry with velocity there. He's um, skied very well this year and, and same with... Um, Young Billy Pracy with fast lane as well, so they went really well on Tuesday in the in the selection races. So we knew we had some stiff competition. But once he hit the lead, he was confident he could go on with the job. Don't like to sound cocky, but when we got in front there, and I knew she was going to be smooth for the whole 25 minutes. I knew we, we had the boat speed and we had the fitness to be able to to hold him out. Australian titles may have been the target for most competitors, but for English visitor Sarah Bennett, it was all about the learning experience. I've learned like so much about ski racing in Australia, like the breath testing and the helmet checks, we don't have that in England, so I think the safety here in Australia is just unbelievable, it's, it's brilliant. Wow, Australia skiers are amazing, like they're nothing compared to the British skiers. And Bennett learned a bit more than she had bargained for when it came to the summer Aussie sun. As you can see, I'm very sunburned. <laughs> um, so I've had to, I've had Ian Payne on my back all the time, saying sun cream, sun cream, every hour, factor 50. So I've now gone out and bought a massive bottle of factor 50 so I can rectify this sunburn. <laughs> the season now reverts back to the River Classics with the iconic Southern 80 on February 9 and 10.